I hope you're ready for the sexiest, the steamiest content on YouTube right now. The corporate structure of Coffee Stain. Smash like if this is this video is the most action you've had all year. Oh no, I'll be smashing it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's your boy Jace here. I'm a community manager at Coffee Stain Studios, and today is this is a random video that no one asked for, but uh, I want to make. I want to make. I'm doing this to myself. This video was my idea, but I thought it would be useful and helpful and a nice resource for y'all out there. Okay, I'm not giving you the information you want. You want information about update eight and all that kind of stuff. We don't have information about that right now. And so instead, I'm going to give you information about the corporate structure of Coffee Stain because it is confusing. It is confusing. And we get a lot of DMs uh, from people and have gotten a lot of DMs from people uh, with questions about Goat Simulator or Valheim. We can't help you with those because we don't make that those games. And you might be like, aren't you all the same thing? No, we're actually not. We're not. We sort of are, but we're not. Okay, so I'm here giving the information you need, not the information you want, but what you need. Not all heroes wear capes, but they do wear beanies. You might not know this, but where I work, Coffee Stain Studios, we only work on Satisfactory. We don't work on anything else. So Deep Rock Galactic, nope, we didn't make that. Valheim, nope, have nothing to do with it. Good Simulator 3, didn't make it. Songs of Conquest, we didn't do it. Midnight Ghost Hunt, Hunt Down, we have nothing to do with those games. We don't work with any of those games, and I'm not a community manager for those games either. But I want to be clear here that, like, that's not your fault. This confusion isn't on you. This confusion is on us, okay? Because at the end of the day, when you open those games, you see the Coffee Stain logo, and you're like, hey, that's the same company that Jace works for. First of all, before we get into the nitty-gritty details, a bunch of links in the description below for everything out there. Uh, everything that I'm going to talk about. So you can just go down there and click to go wherever you want to go. But if you want to see me uh, talk a little bit more about them and what they do, keep watching. So first thing that I want to show you guys is this gigantic structure of Coffee Stain. That's right. You probably thought we were one company. We are not. Look how big this is. Okay. We are a bajillion studios right now. This is bananas. Okay. So you can see this here. There's a lot of different companies within Coffee Stain and they're all independent and they're all doing their own thing. Uh, but the first thing you'll notice, there is no Coffee Stain. <laughs> There's no coffee stain! Find me a coffee stain! <laughs> there is no company called Coffee Stain. <laughs> so basically, whenever, whenever people talk about coffee stain, they're usually talking about coffee stain holdings, which is like the company that owns all the companies. But like that company itself doesn't really make games, it just manages all the other companies, right? And above them is, of course, Embracer Group, I think they're called. I call them Embracer Daddy. They're up there, and they own, like, I don't know, pretty much everything else in the world at this point. Uh, and so that's how that kind of ties in. So it's Embracer, and then there's Coffee Stain Holdings, and then there's the rest of us. So that's... This is the first part, okay? Let's move on to the... to the... to the studios below. So the first thing I'm going to look at is Coffee Stain Studios, which is us, which is where I work. I work at Coffee Stain Studios, and... Uh, that's where Satisfactory is made, and the first thing you're going to notice is that Coffee Stain Studios is one studio! <laughs> Coffee Stain Studios is not studios, it's just one studio, okay? We're based in Hvda, Sweden, alright, try pronouncing that. Hvda. Good! Despite the name, it isn't multiple studios, it's just one studio. Now, the reason for this confusion is because Coffee Stain Studios is the original studio. Whenever Coffee Stain was made, that was the name that they came up with initially, Coffee Stain Studios. Uh, since then, the company has grown quite a bunch. The holdings company was, was created, other companies were created as well. But the name Coffee Stain Studios stayed with us only. Um, and so now it's very confusing because Coffee Stain Studios sounds like we're all the studios, but we're not all the studios. We're just one studio uh, here in Hvda in Sweden, okay? And our studio, you know, where it all began, we, it all began with Sanctum, okay? A game called Sanctum, very fun uh, first-person shooter tower defense game, multiplayer with your friends as well. And then, of course, Sanctum 2, which is the game that I absolutely fell in love with and, and the reason why I, I, I came to work for Coffee Stain at all. Coffee Stain Studios also made the original Goat Simulator and some of the DLCs, but not all the DLCs, and now we're working on Satisfactory, and that's us. That's our studio. That's all we do. We manage this, this YouTube channel here, okay? So this is our specific YouTube channel. This is why we only talk about Satisfactory here. Uh, and we also have other socials. We have at Satisfactory AF on Twitter. We manage that. Uh, uh, coffee at coffee underscore stain underscore studios on Instagram. Uh, also Satisfactory Game on TikTok uh, and Satisfactory Game on Facebook. Those are the social medias that we manage. Okay, so if you ever want to reach out to us or see what we're doing, you can follow those. 
All the links, like I said before, are in the description below. So if you have any questions about us or Satisfactory, feel free to reach out. So the next studio or company, I suppose, I want to move on to is Coffee Stain Publishing. So that's right, Coffee Stain has a publishing like studio or division or company or whatever. They're based in Stockholm in Sweden and they handle all the publishing duties for all the internal uh, internally for all the Coffee Stain games, as well as some external uh, studios games as well. So along with publishing like all the Coffee Stain internal games like Satisfactory, like Goat Simulator, uh, they've also published games like Deep Rock Galactic by Ghost Ship Games, um, which is a cooperative like mining and combat game, super fun, like hordes of like spidery ant creatures come and attack you in, in, in the mines, really fun. Uh, Midnight Ghost Hunt by Vaulted Sky Games, which is like a multiplayer hide and seek prop hunt kind of game. Uh, also really cool. And then of course Valheim needs no introduction. Everyone knows Valheim. Um, uh, that's by Iron Gate Studios, okay? So those games are made by other studios and then published by Coffee Stain Publishing, which again is not where I work. That's a different studio in Stockholm. Coffee Stain Publishing actually do have a YouTube channel, um, which, which is where they'll be sharing basically just all the major trailers for any game that's coming out underneath the Coffee Stain umbrella. So if you want to uh, only follow major releases and announcements and things like that, um, it, uh, you know, for all games under the Coffee Stain umbrella, then it's probably better that you go and subscribe to them on YouTube. They're at Coffee Stain on uh, YouTube. And, you know, because if you subscribe here, you're going to get all the random shit that I put out, okay? But maybe you only want to see what Coffee Stain are doing. Definitely go to Coffee Stain Publishing's uh, YouTube channel for sure. And also, if you're a developer or are interested with working co with Coffee Stain Publishing for any reason, uh, they have a publishing forum on their website, so you can get in contact with them about a game that you want to pitch to them or anything like that. And links in the description below. It's coffeestainpublishing.com, but more links below as well. Next studio I want to talk about is Coffee Stain North. Now, Coffee Stain North is an interesting studio because they didn't used to be called Coffee Stain North. They used to be called uh, Gone North Games, actually. And they, uh, they're they a little special to us because they're the first studio that we ever sort of acquired. And they're kind of like a sister studio to, to, uh, to Coffee Stain Studios. So when we were only Coffee Stain Studios, they were Gone North Games. They made a game called A Story About My Uncle, which is super cool. It's like this hookshot like mechanic kind of game with like a really nice narrative. It's it's really fun. Um, and we I think we published that game and then we started working with Gone North Games ever since then. And they started handling some of the Goat Simulator DLCs as well. Eventually we acquired them. We changed the name to Coffee Stain North and we've they've been part of the family ever since. So Coffee Stain North, another studio of ours based in Stockholm in Sweden. And they're currently responsible for Goat Simulator 3. So any questions you have regarding that, go look for Goat Simulator 3 stuff online or Coffee Stain North stuff. All the links will be in the description below. They've got a really banger TikTok account going, but they also have YouTube. They've got Facebook, all that kind of stuff as well. Next studio that I want to talk about real quick is a studio called Lava Potion. Okay, so this is, it's not Coffee Stain Lava Potion, it's just Lava Potion. And um, they're a game dev based in Gothenburg here in Sweden. And they're working on a game called Songs of Conquest, which is like this really like honest throwback to old like Heroes of Might and Magic games. If you guys played any of those way back in the day, it's like a, a modernized version of that, but it's still like the pixel art, super, super good looking um, and really fun. And uh, I used to play those games. I used to play Heroes of Mag Might and Magic to death with my friends way back when. So uh, super cool that this game is being made at all. And it's currently in early access, so you can play it right now. And so Lava Potion, the way that they came to be part of Coffee Stain was that the actual company was started uh, by their founders in collaboration with uh, Coffee Stain in order to make Songs of Conquest. So uh, there were people who were in Coffee Stain who were really passionate about their game. And we all got together uh, started uh, the Lava Potion Company, and uh, they've been part of Coffee Stain since since they were born, basically. So uh, again, links down below for all their stuff. Easy Trigger Games is another one of our studios. Uh, they're based in Trollhättan in Sweden, which is just kind of north of Gothenburg. Um, and they made the game called Hunt Down, which is like a really faithful kind of homage to old classic arcade run and gun uh, side scrolling shooter games. Super fun. I've played it a bunch of times. Snut and I played it on stream once as well. I finished it with friends. It's really, really fun. Um, I really enjoy playing it as like a couch co op game. It's super good. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely check out Hunt Down. Now, initially, we published Hunt Down uh, with Coffee Stain Publishing, but since then, we've actually acquired Easy Trigger Games so that they're now actually part of. Uh, coffee Stain as well now. So they're another Coffee Stain studio. And they're also working on some new stuff. I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it, but they're working on new stuff. So make sure you follow them. First, check out Hunt Down. If you like it, and you will, it's pretty good. Do consider following them uh, so you can see what they're doing next. Another one of the Coffee Stain studios is called Box Dragon. Uh, and I, there's nothing I can say. There's nothing I can say. They've got a website. Link in the description below. 
I can't say anything about Box Dragon. They're working on some stuff. Uh, keep an eye on them. Look forward to it. Next up, we have Coffee Stain Gothenburg. Okay, so this is a new studio that we've uh, created recently, and this is obviously a Coffee Stain studio. It's got Coffee Stain in the name. Coffee Stain Gothenburg, based in Gothenburg here in Sweden. And Coffee Stain Gothenburg was created um, to take over development of a really popular Roblox game. If you guys have ever heard of Welcome to Bloxburg, that was made by, they had the original creators, and uh, they were looking for someone to, uh, they, they were just working by themselves on that game for a very long time. And they were looking for a studio to kind of take over and help with the development of the game. Uh, and they approached Coffee Stain. Coffee Stain thought it was a good idea. And so Coffe Coffee Stain Gothenburg was created in order to take over that project. And the original folks are still part of the team as well. So I have actually seen people ask about Bloxburg in uh, the comment section of our videos here in the past, which is again, one of the reasons why I'm making this video. And to those folks, we don't have anything to do with Goth uh, Coffee Stain Gothenburg or uh, Bloxburg development, okay? So you'll have to go to the links in the description below to try and follow their project uh, and try to reach out to them if you have any questions because I can't I can't answer them because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I don't work on it. I don't work on it, okay? And the last studio I'm going to talk about today is Coffee Stain Malmö, and Malmö is a city in the south of Sweden. The little O with the dots above it, by the way, that's pronounced uh, uh, okay? Uh, Malmö. Repeat after me. Uh. Easy. Good, you're doing it. Well done. Also, it looks like a smiley face going like... Swedes just have emojis in their alphabet. That's kind of weird. Can you imagine if we had like the eggplant in our alphabet just randomly? So Coffee State Malmö, they're basically responsible for maintaining Goat Simulator on mobile at the moment, as well as some other top secret things that are happening that... Uh, actually, I have no idea what it is either. So um, not really. I don't know if there's much you can follow with regards to that at the moment, but... That's just another one of the studios under the Coffee Stain umbrella and uh, looking forward to see what they do. And yeah, so I think that about covers it, basically. Uh, and I have no idea what our plans are with regards to branding for Coffee Stain, if we're happy to keep it as it is or not. But regardless, okay, regardless, I hope this video was interesting or insightful or helpful in any way. Uh, if it was, leave a like. And, uh, and a thanks, Jace, helps a lot in the comments down below. And if, you know, you've got any friends who are confused about Coffee Stain or the structure or anything like that, uh, hopefully this video will be a nice resource that you can just you can just send to them so they can they can see. Also, you've got like a bunch of games that you can play now. That's pretty cool. Bunch of different games and a bunch of different studios to support too, if, uh, if you're interested in that. Um, now, the last thing I want to say real quick is update eight for Satisfactory, right? It's been a while since we've done anything that's specifically focused on what's coming in Satisfactory, and that's just because I couldn't say anything before. And so I've been making other videos and doing other things in the meantime. However, there should be some uh, some Update 8 stuff coming soon, very soon. Uh, we haven't forgot about it, and uh, we're gonna get it to you as soon as we can, so look forward to that. Um, but, you know, I just have the feeling that like, if we have nothing about the next update to say, I think it's still better to hang out with you guys anyway and make videos like, like this that just might be interesting. You know, just, just to, I don't know, just to keep the conversation going. I don't know, I like making videos for you guys. I hope that's okay, okay? Uh, I guess let me know in the comments below if it's a problem. <laughs> I like it, I think it's important, okay? But thank you all very much for watching. Uh, do consider leaving a like, like I said before, and uh, I'll catch you next week. Take care, have a lovely weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>